Mr. Blake Jenner is listed there. You found us. <laughs> I didn't realize I had downloaded a new app. <laughs> I just downloaded the new app. Oh my goodness. Well, we're definitely keeping you current. Yes, for sure. I'm sorry. I'm technology so please forgive me no thank you for switching over it is definitely great to see you i got to meet you very very briefly on the everybody wants some um atlanta film festival tour so um <laughs> definitely been following your career with great uh, relish so thanks oh, for all you've been doing thank you for having me again and that was a fun time that was a fun that was a fun press tour we did we were like, yeah oh. it was hilarious that the big question i asked you guys was about um what you liked more the athletics or the acting and everybody was like the acting yeah, the they're both fun. But. No, I was proud of myself toward the athletics of it because I could finally throw the ball like I was playing a pitcher and I could do it convincingly. I couldn't win a game, but it looked good for camera at least. So it was good. No, absolutely. Well, I definitely want to find all about Paradise City and you've been front and center as an action star in this. Didn't know I, how you prepared for the role. <laughs> I don't think there's any way to prepare other than like other than just cal calisthenics. Um, what you might call it. I. Uh, no, I, I well, I got the script. I knew that I was gonna have to dive in and 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 do some stuff that I wasn't used to doing. I've never done an action movie before, and and uh, once I read the script, I met with Chuck Russell, who directed so many great movies, but one that stands out to me is The Mask. So I had to compliment him on that because I was the biggest Jim Carrey fan. I still am, but like when I was a kid, it was like a religion. Like yeah, I it was had definitely a superhero for us as a kid. I would like. <laughs> But I, I mimicked like all of his impressions he would do. And I had like all, every DVD he'd ever done. I even had like Copper Mountain and like Once Bitten on DVD. I was like a diehard fan. Um, but I had to compliment him on that. I thanked him for making that movie because I was like, that movie is one of the movies that made me want to get into acting and improv and all that stuff. But no, with the action stuff, you kind of just have to dive in. I just kind of prepared myself mentally. But I mean... I was definitely going home and exhausted, and luckily I wasn't the one that had to jump off of a, a, a balcony ten stories. But still, I had to do some fight scenes and stuff that I wasn't used to. But I but I learned a lot, and if the opportunity ever comes again to do an action film, I'm definitely much more prepared. But uh, but you had one had or more stunt people. Did you have a couple stunt people playing you? No, I, I only had one. I only had. <laughs> I only had one, and it was only for that one scene. I think the other, the the other things, I kind of held my own. I think with like all the fight scenes and stuff, like it was, it was, it was just those couple of stunts that was just impossible. Like if I did them, they totally would not have gone right. It's hard to insure you, yeah, for jumping off a balcony, so to speak. Yeah, but. probably, yeah, yeah. Am I reading correctly that this whole shoot was three weeks in Hawaii? I think close to that. I feel like it was closer to a month, but maybe it was because I stayed behind. I okay. Bet or something, but. But definitely, we definitely hit the ground running. We definitely didn't have like two months to shoot this thing. It was really, it was really. I think we caught lightning in a bottle because we're all so proud of it. And it well, what does your what does your character do? If you can, without spoilers, give away a little bit about what your character is up to in this movie. Okay, so my character, he grew up with you know Bruce Willis is his dad, Ryan um, Bruce Willis. He plays Ian Swan. I play Ryan Swan. So his dad, Bounty. Sorry, my, my mother's calling me. I'm, oh, <laughs> sweet. <laughs> I'm sorry, leave me alone. Um, just kidding. I love you, mom. Um, but but um, so so Bruce Willis's character has always been a bounty hunter, and uh, my character kind of follows in his footsteps. Even though they've been estranged, he kind of took part in the family business. Um, but he uses non-lethal force. That's like the main difference between them, and they've always disagreed on that amongst a million other things. So the first time he hears back from his dad in a while, his dad's actually in the middle of this whole big thing. And, and to his knowledge, his dad's either captured or, or murdered. So he takes it upon himself to kind of avenge the death of his father by, by solving this whole mystery, you know, of what happened. So you kind of, he kind of meets people along the way that have either been connected to his dad in the past or just care about Ma the uh, Maui itself and who are also in the um, you know, police department to help him crack the case. But he learns a lot about the value of family, but also the value of just, you know, he's kind of a loner when you first meet him, and he kind of stumbles upon this, this, this small group of people that, he's, that, he's, that he eventually considers family. So he kind of learns a lot about himself and remembers what it's about, what, what, fam, what the importance of family, the importance of of your environment and how to take care of it and, and, and love everyone within it, but also just 
he becomes kind of a version of himself that he didn't think was possible. I think he's kind of jaded at first, and then he comes he becomes just a much much more grounded and 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 loving and grateful version of himself toward the end. But there, don't get me wrong, there's so much action for everybody who loves action, and and so much of that. I think I think he ends up with a six pack at the end of the movie. So that's another journey he ends. <laughs> I love in. it. Well, to to um, Goliaths of the acting world uh, to work with as well, and with your love of action and musical, you got a uh, Bruce Willis and a John Travolta to work with. Um, how was that in those brief weeks together? I mean, it was great, man. But I, I, everybody's asking me like, "Oh, did they ever give you any tips?" And I'm just like, "Well, I, would, I didn't want to be like that teacher's pet guy. I didn't want to be like, hey, show up with my composition notebook and start writing down tips and stuff." But I just kind of soaked in soaked up working with the two of them and I had different relationships with them just as a character you know with all of me and Bruce's scenes it's um it's it's just you know father and son making up for lost time um kind of remembering remembering how important that relationship was to them so it's much more heartfelt and then with John he's such a force of nature in this movie that it's just kind of it, it was it's kind of a mind game he's his scenes are like more of like a 13 by 13 Rubik's Cube almost you know, and he plays such a such a dynamic kind of villain in this, you know, so it's so it's exciting. So that so. so but yeah, I, t- I took a lot away from it. and I have this one off scene with John that I, I've always loved that scene reading it. And we rehearsed it a bunch and it took forever to get to it in the shoot. And once we finally did, I definitely felt like I held my own. But it's also just kind of doing a scene with someone like John like that is it's it's such a gift because I mean you have no even even someone with no acting experience I think could pull that off of John because he's just so giving as an actor and so disarming so I mean that it was, was awesome it was, and also my parents I, I don't know if you followed Glee at all but I played like Danny Zuko in Glee. <laughs> yeah no, this is totally a small world my mom was so mad that I didn't bring it up I said I didn't want to bring that up because he's seen it I'm sure you think so? I, don't know. I think he would have seen it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully, at this point, he does. He's like the sweetest guy in the world. Hopefully, that is awesome. His attention, but I definitely didn't. I was too shy. You grew up with brothers. How do they feel about Blake Jenner, the action star? Oh, they're like they're probably calling shenanigans. They're like, yeah, right. <laughs> That's what they're thinking. They're like, goofball. Like we beat him up all the time, right? Yeah. <laughs> Did, especially my brother Michael above me. He's the I come from a family of four boys. I'm the youngest. So yeah, it was just like kind of open season on me. Oh, <laughs> no, well, this is a real <laughs> I'm taking my, my two of my brothers live in Miami still. One of them lives out here. So when this comes out, I'm gonna take some of my family to go see it. You know, oh, that's it. amazing. Yeah, so that'll well, be fun. My last question for you, I know this is a very short three week, four week maybe shoot, um, yeah, but there's yeah. a 20 year movie you're working on. I don't know if you could just give us a little hint of how year two or three is going of Merrily We Roll Along. Is that a fun I, shoot? I wish I, not, wish I knew. The, the thing is, is with COVID, we kind of went with, uh, we, we had a break. So, I mean, getting to do that first part was amazing. I mean, it was it was so fun, and I love Rick to death. Um, he's been there for me a bunch of times, A, with advice, but B, just as a wonderful director. You know, I learned so much from, from him on Everybody Wants Some, but we'll see, man. I, I hope it comes to light for everybody involved, because you could tell that everybody, even even with the producers and the crew, that it meant a lot to, to everybody. So regardless, I hope it I hope it sees, I hope it, hope it follows its journey and gets completed. Well, Richard Linklater is great, and you are spectacular, and everybody wants some. That is a cult favorite after a couple of years. I know so many people who bring it up. And um... I it for the first time, I was just talking about this on my last interview. I remember reading it. They're like, "Oh, how do you, how do you?" They were asking me because in this one, I'm introduced by like, you know, with a little car, car move, like a little bit of action. And I, it said, they were like, oh, what's your favorite introduction? And I said, everybody wants them. I said, when I read that script and my character's driving to college on the highway with my Sharona playing, like, are you kidding me? Dude. Absolutely. Done. Done. (laughs) Well, we're really excited about Paradise City. Thank you for spending some time with us. This will be up on silverscreencapture.com. And we'll look forward to talking to you every couple of years. I'm, I'm looking forward to it, too. It's nice to see you again. All right. Take care, man. Definitely all the best with the premiere. You too. You t- have, right. a, have a good one, man. Bye-bye.